And this is a question I ask of everyone I work with. And I work with a lot of companies over time doing their strategic planning. And so all kinds of manufacturers. And every manufacturer will want me to tour their company. They'll bring me there, and they take me through the tour, and it's a parade of hows. Here's how we do stuff. How, 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 how. And by the way, in my world, I'm a bad how guy. I don't really know how tools work. I'm not good at that. They call me button boy in my own company because you'll forget which button to press. That's not my mental game, man. I look at it a different way. I say that it's not the how that's your business. It's the results of what you do is the business you're in. It's the way you meet needs. That's the game I know well. So I go through the plant. At the end of the day, you know, I'm in the boardroom with their folks, and they'll say, how would you like the tour? And I say, I've got a question for you. What business are you in? And they look at me like, he's toured the plant. We've obviously got the wrong consultant. He doesn't know what we do. But I know whether I can help them or not based on the answer to that question. So pretend, all of you business folks, that I'm the best potential customer for your business ever. Do you know who that would be? Who would that be? Pretend I'm the best potential customer ever, and we meet on an elevator. And I ask you, hey, what business are you in? What's your answer? You don't have a lot of time to give it. And I'm going to suggest, and we'll see if this is true, that all of you are going to change your answer by the end of my session. Let's see if that happens. In government, you can think of it, what purpose do you have, if you want to look at it that way. So if you had asked Smith Corona that, the typewriter company over the years, they would have merrily and happily answered, we're in the typewriter business. I grew up thinking that. They were in the efficient word processing business, and the how should have changed. If you answer that question with the how you do stuff today, you're in big, deep, dark trouble because the hows in every field are changing. That's why all the, how, the hands went up, folks. In every field are your hows you do stuff changing from what how you used to do it in the past. How many people would agree with me that your hows are changing? Wow, think of mobile technology, all the different technologies, new forms of energy and so on. We're in a time of changing hows in every field like never before, folks. That's why we ain't seen nothing yet. So I would suggest that the answer to that question should be involved in this. Work equals meeting needs, period. Profits come from meeting needs. Work equals need satisfaction. It doesn't come the other way. If you don't meet any needs, you won't be a successful business. So the business you're in are the needs you d deliver. Really, any opportunity is where you have a growing need, a need that's growing. If there's a growing need and you supply to it, you've got chance to grow as well. To a defined target group, to a customer base that really cares about that need priority being solved. And ultimately, and this is my biggest advice through this whole hour with you, is that it's all about the better benefit. It's about the way you meet the need in a better way. That's your route to success, folks. The better benefit is what leads you to success. It's the story that tells you how you met a need in a better way. So when I work with organizations, I'm always trying to uncover their better benefit stories. And every business owner has a suite of better benefits. They don't necessarily identify them. But it's that better benefit sales pitch that will lead to growth in your marketplace. So what are your better benefits become this key question. And all new products that I've helped develop or I've worked with, all products in a grocery store have a unique better benefit or they wouldn't be there. So if you tell me your attitude to, the, uh, to your cat, your pet, I'll tell you the brand you buy. If you tell me the brand you buy of cat food, I'll tell you exactly what you think of your cat. They're completely intertwined. Every single product has a certain better benefit profile or it wouldn't be there. Because in the grocery business, 20,000 new products are pitched to the business every year. The only one that makes the store has to kick out something. And every single product has a unique better benefit or it wouldn't be there. Cottonelle, softest, tied cleanest. They're trying to get one word, their better benefit word, across to you. Every brand, this is the source of all branding.